Okay guys, welcome back. A uh, little bit of news for you. We've all seen where they are talking about shutting down beaches and in some areas they have shut down beaches. Here in Florida, uh, we are in Bay County currently. We are on the outskirts of Panama City, which with Panama City, you got Panama City Beach. Alright, now I just got reports in from our sources that just left the Chamber of Commerce meeting for Panama City Beach. They will be shutting down our beaches as of 7 p.m. tonight, our time. So, that's a good thing. Alright, that means there's going to be less stuff to deal with as far as commutable spreading. Now, they were already cracking down the other day on people grouping up together and things like that more than groups of 10. They were, spaced, they were enforcing the spacing rules. Uh, they were giving out tickets for that. Uh, they also gave out tickets, I believe, in Miami, Fort Lauderdale for grouping up and things like that, not taking this stuff seriously. Now, what the big catalyst is, we've got some friends and stuff that work security on the beach. And uh, they caught people licking elevator buttons and handrails. Yeah. Now, there is a new challenge floating around. I saw reports on that a couple days ago on the, uh, the Corona challenge. And no, they're not talking about Corona beer. They're actually, the challenge is you got to contract this stuff. Don't, don't be dumb, all right? I don't, I don't, I don't get this new generational thing where you go online and go look for new challenges. First, it was tie pods, um, jumping out of your car and dancing while the car was rolling. And these are the people they want to lower the age of voting for. Yeah. All right. So yes, there was a group of individuals that got nailed by security out on the beach. They were licking the elevator buttons and were also seen licking the handrails. Yeah. So, with this bug going around, guys, I mean, if you, as long as you're smart and you try to quarantine yourself off, I mean, we're pretty much quarantined right now. My job shut down last week because I was working on the beach. A couple of different reasons. One, for safety for everyone else. Two, there just wasn't much traffic. I mean, it's an amusement park. There was hardly anything going on for the first opening week. So, you know, make a decision on that, which, which one is which, but I think it's because the bug's moving. Uh, last one I saw, we had a count in Fort Walton, which isn't far from us. Uh, it's a lot closer than it was in Santa Rosa County. So, that's Destin area, things like that. So, it's not far. Um... I can get there in 40 minutes, you know, about 40 miles away. So, with that in mind, yeah, we're staying here as much as possible. Now, real quick and very important, I cannot give away my information as far as where I got this, you know, tidbit of information, but let me rephrase that. I cannot give up where I've heard this exactly from. I will tell everybody to go check out Will Patriot's channel. Um, he did a video, came out yesterday. Watch it. Now, he can't go out and straight up tell everybody what's going on, but there's a warning in that video, and everybody needs to pay attention. Now, I did see the president's speech today when they asked about nationwide lockdown. He said, no, I have no thoughts, no, no thoughts of doing this. Yeah, right. If I am correct, in which I think I am, parts of California and New York have also jumped on board with parts of quarantine lockdown. I know um, Washington has already done that. I expect it coming across the board. All right. We went out yesterday, topped off all of our other stuff, went and got some more propane for our water heater, things like that. Now, we are set up here. Like I said, we have this enclosed trailer that we convert into a camper. We have well water on property. We're not tied into the city. We have solar for power. 
we have food to eat we went ahead and went down to our storage facility where we have most of our stuff from our move because we're moving to Wyoming um, we have went ahead and got all of our food stocks out of there we, we brought here now I don't have all my food stocks right here gotta be smart guys don't have everything in one one basket but I don't want to try driving six miles up the road to try to get hold of food if they lock things down uh, I did videos on survival buckets, buckets that you put in the ground, five gallon buckets, you can put food in, put it in deep, and your food stays for a very long time. Uh, we already implemented that so that all of our food is not sitting right here in case something happens. We have food elsewhere. The reason why I push moving your food around during a national emergency, if the alphabet companies and you know who I'm talking about starts with an F decides and deems the area a disaster area they can take your stuff I know many out there well they can try I'm not saying not standing up for what's right but if you got an Abram sitting in your parking lot alright guys I don't know how I can put this in an easy way. Rambo is a movie. Rambo's a movie. It's fantasy that a single prepper is going to lock himself down in his house with all his bang bangs and thousand rounds of ammunition and he's going to take on platoons. No. No. It's not going to happen. Move your stuff around. If they come for it, they come for it. They're only getting a part. They're not getting all your stuff. Spread it out. Hide it. Done videos on that in the past. Just many ways you can hide your food. Now, am I wrong on what could be coming? You know, it's, it's a possibility. My sources tell me something's coming. And the little speech that was gave today about no, I'm no plans of doing a national lockdown. Yeah, I don't trust it. Do me a favor, guys. Go over to Will Patriot's channel. Go check out his last video of yesterday's video. Yesterday's video. Go check that out. Um, watch it. You Hopefully, you'll understand what's going on. All right, guys. Y'all take care. I'm going to go do some more work in the garden. Hopefully, someone's out there has started their garden. I know a lot of other people started their garden prior to I did mine because we weren't going to stay here. And everyone's asking, dude, when are you going to get to Wyoming? Not right now. I'm not traveling with this stuff going on, guys. I'm staying right here. All right? It's the smartest thing to do is stay in location. Not traveling multiple states. Because when I get to Wyoming, I have to build our home. Which means I've got to go into town. Which means if I go out to Wyoming in just this enclosed trailer, even though it's been converted come winter time and I foresee this stuff lasting a lot longer than just August we'll freeze to death so that's why we're not going to Wyoming yet we are hunkering down right here all right guys you take care I'll speak to y'all later